Hello everyone, I just wanted to quickly make a quick introduction uh, and explain the purpose of this video. Um, I've owned a couple of uh, Lexus IS models in the last couple of years. Unfortunately, most of them were 2006 through 2009, and um, I always wanted these headlights right here. Now, these headlights, I believe they started coming out on the 2011 models and up. You now, they have the more modern uh, Nike LED, bigger uh, projector. Uh, the only problem was these headlights are really expensive. I always wanted to do a conversion. Um, I was looking at maybe original ones like this, and uh, if you take a look on eBay, I mean, they sell for $1,000 just for one headlight. If you switch to these, you'll also lose your um, AFS function. So for me, you know, spending $1,500 or more just on a headlight conversion didn't make any sense. Uh, it was kind of cheap like that. Um, and there are a couple, there were a couple aftermarket options uh, like these, for example. But you could clearly see these aren't um, like the stock ones. The projectors are much smaller. Just the overall layout is a little bit different. Uh, if you compare them to you know original quality ones, uh, recently um, these started popping up. I believe these are made by Depot or Depot. They are they look just like the original ones, right? And they're only four hundred twenty-five dollars. Uh, earlier they were only three ninety-nine. So I was about to buy these, but then I realized they said um, you know fit for factory halogen models only. Now most models um, actually come with HID, and um, so I figured you know crap this one will not fit my car. And the only uh, ones I think Depot makes ones for the HID model, but they sell them for one thousand dollars. So there's a you know almost a six hundred dollar difference there. Also, the main difference between these four hundred dollar ones and thousand dollar ones, these have the slots for your modules um, that you could take off your OEM headlights, uh, plug them right in, and um, you know they'll work with your existing HIDs. And these obviously don't have that. They're um, just, uh, they have the bulbs already inside them. Um, they're just halogen bulbs, but you could still um, hook up an HID kit uh, to these and you know have them be as, just as bright. And the other good part about these is you don't have to use your old modules, which are worth some money. So, you know, if you get these and uh, put your existing headlights on eBay for, you know, uh, with, with all your modules for 200 bucks, um, it's another $200 you could get back, so these headlights will only end up costing you about $200. Now, the purpose of this video is I wanted to see if I could buy these $400 ones and fit them on an HID model uh, like I have. Um, and if you're watching this and you have a Lexus IS250, 350 ISF, chances are you have a HID model. I just wanted to show that you can actually get these headlights on your HID um, model car and you know save almost six hundred dollars uh, now the catch is obviously uh, your AFS function won't work but if you own a couple of Lexuses uh, AFS is a huge issue with them and they actually I believe got rid of AFS completely in 2011 for me it's it's worth losing AFS um, you know the auto adjusting headlights or whatever they're called but yeah um, stay tuned uh, I'm gonna show you if these headlights work or not on a HID model okay finally got around to installing my headlights. I probably have the smallest garage in the world, but it's just enough to get the work done. So um, I kind of forgot to record the part where I take off the bumper. But really, it's really simple. When you look at your bumper, there's a screw here, screw here, screw here, and, uh, and two more screws here. And then if you peel back your fender liner right here, this part of the bumper is going to have a little screw. You can screw that. And same thing on the other end. This one right here. You should be able to access it without actually taking off your fender liner. I just kind of pulled it back and uh, unscrewed it. So, as far as the headlight, uh, same thing here. Uh, we have a screw right here, a screw right here. And one over there, and the headlights come right out. There is a um, plug right here, one big one that you just unplug, and uh, the headlight is going to be out. So I'm about to take the headlight out, and I'm going to compare uh, to this headlight right here. Hopefully, it plugs right in, and I'm going to try to test it. Headlight is in. Um, this plug right here plugged right in, so um, about to find out if it will just work just like that. And would you look at that? 
it's on with the other headlight. Obviously not as bright. Uh, let's take off this film right here. So here's what it looks like. Um, here's the LED. This part is just a normal halogen bulb, but I have an idea of how to install an HID. Okay, now let's see if the other headlight's gonna work. In, and I completely did not expect this, but I figured out how to make this an HID without actually doing any crazy drilling or anything like that. So look at the color and brightness of this one, and then look at the other one. This one's a lot more yellow. Maybe you won't be able to see it on camera as much, but if you just compare it to the color of this LED strip right here, it's a lot more yellow and not nearly as bright. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what is inside this headlight. So if you flip it over, um, there's a little door in the back. If you open that up, um, in here you could see your low beam headlight, uh, I mean, uh, light bulb. So um, my idea initially was to hook up a HID kit to it, you know, a bulb like this, for example and then have that stick out and use something like, here it is. So I was thinking about buying something like this and uh, once I have part of the wires of the HID kit in there, obviously all of this wouldn't fit in there. So I was gonna wire it out, um, maybe drill a hole in here and then fill it with something like this, but smaller. But obviously that won't work with this piece. I'd have to get a new one. Um, but I did some digging around and um, I figured out that you could actually fit at least this HID kit in here. Um, I know there's smaller ones out there with just one computer. Um, obviously this isn't the best one. This one is like 35 bucks on Amazon. Um, but if you prefer a more premium HID kit, you would probably have to drill a hole in this door, route the wires out and uh, use like a, something uh, like this. Um, to protect the headlight from getting uh, water inside of it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna attempt to fit this HID kit inside of this headlight. Okay, so as you can see, I was actually able to fit um, the HID kit inside within the headlight. And um, obviously it's a very uh, tight fit in there and not all HID kits are gonna fit there. But I will leave a link in the description for this exact one if you wanna try it out. Now, like I said, this is a cheap HID kit and this might cause some heating issues uh, because it's within the headlight. But, um, you know, if it blows out, I have these um, original halogen bulbs from them or I will have to uh, do the whole thing as I described, blowing a hole in here and routing a bigger, more expensive HID kit in here. So now uh, this door could close. Phew, almost forgot something. So, um, there's supposed to be a little plastic piece right here that holds this part of the bumper on. Um, here it is right here on the old headlight. It looks like this. Um, don't forget to transfer that. Uh, there's screws on the bottom. One, two, three. And it um, should go right on. I'm going to give it a shot. There we go. We got this little plastic piece swapped out. Um, like I thought, there was only three screws. Take it off the old headlight, put it on the new one. Uh, fits right on perfectly. And there you go. Let's do the other one. We try to install this headlight there would be a little gap right here that uh, would bother me a lot and no matter how hard I would press on it you could feel that something is not letting it go in so if you look at this headlight um, this connector right here this big one is held on by this weird metal arm that sticks out and this metal arm was actually tipping against 
this part of the fender and it wouldn't let it go inside anymore. Um, so basically what I did is I took a pair of pliers and this area right here, I'm trying to focus on it. Uh, can't get much focus, it's kind of dark. But where you see the little white spot in the middle, I just kind of bent it back a little bit. And uh, yeah, the headlight came in right away. So that took me about 40 minutes to figure out, but if it saves someone time, um, I hope it helps. So as you can see now, this headlight lines up perfectly and um, nothing's really in the way anymore. And uh, cool, now for the satisfying part, time lapse of putting this thing together. This is what, what the um, DRLs look like. And lastly, as you can see, the AFS light is blinking and it can get really annoying. So um, what we want to do is remove the fuse. Uh, the fuse is located right here in the footwell. Here's what it looks like. Um, so there's a 30 up here in the upper left. And there's a t uh, blank and there's a 10. And there's going to be a 7.5 right there. That's the one you want to remove. Um, and once you remove it, your AFS light is going to be gone for good. And there we go, no more AFS light. Thank <laughs> you.